Okay, so true story. One day I was driving down Madison Avenue and I saw this really interesting place. So I did my research and called up Chef Juan and today he's gonna give us the inside scoop on Baraka. Instantly. Order up. It's very fun, great atmosphere. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> this is like my new home. Hey Juan, how's it going? Good to see you. So before we go any further, I gotta take a step back because this wall is very interesting. Can you tell me about it? I mean, it looks like a comic book strip. Well, this is uh, our Barocco mural. And this is something I painted when we first started. This was the very first thing I wanted customers to see when they went through this door. You drew this? I did, I did everything oh, myself. Yeah. I've been doing art since I was very little. My grandpa is an artist. He's a very uh -huh. famous uh, cultural icon in Colombia, South America. Okay. So tell me about some of the characters you picked. I mean, it seems like you put some familiar faces. Well, there's Bob Marley, there is the Hulk holding one of our burgers, there's John Lennon, and there's... And who's this guy? Well, that was going to be LeBron James. That was around the time where he left Cleveland, so I decided not, oh, to, not to do him anymore, I and I changed it up a bit. What does Barocco mean exactly? It's pronounced Barocco. Ah, Barroco. Barroco, yeah, it's a Spanish word for Baroque art during the 1600s where uh, it was a very intricate uh, form of art and it was something that was very new and that's something that we're trying to do here with our food, let's bring something new to the table. Tell me about the food here, just for a hot second. It is South American street food, but mostly it's Colombian, it's influenced in Colombian cooking. Uh, and if you'd like, there's a lot more I could show you down that way. Okay, let's go, like, I'm see? ready to okay. see it. Cool, let's go. Okay, here we are. So this is the first dining room, right? Yes, it is. You said you were an artist before. Is this your artwork? Most of it, it's local artists. We have one local artist perform his art in front of everyone while they're dining in. What better way to give back to the art community than let them display their work and do it right in front of customers. And speaking of art, it seems like you're encouraging other people to take a part in art too, because there's a lot of signatures and artwork on the walls. How did that start up? The signature started back when uh, we first opened. There was a customer who wanted to leave feedback and he asked for a magic marker. So we let him write on the wall and from then on it just became a great idea. Everyone just wanted to write on the walls and leave their feedback and now when customers come in, they get a hint at what to order. People will actually come in and they will order something that they've seen on the wall that's been recommended to them? Correct, yes. What's your favorite signature on the wall? There's actually one on that pink wall right over there. They said that the Cuban sandwich they had here was better than the one they had when they were in Cuba. Well, it looks like there's a little bit more down this little hallway here. I kind of see a little peek. Can we take a trip down there? Sure can. That right. used to be my apartment, so now it's more dining area. We you used to live yes. back there. All right, well, take me home. Sure, let's go. Okay. okay. So, uh, Lauren. I wanted to show you this painting. It's uh, it's called Mercado del Domingo, okay. and it's made by my grandpa. Oh, your grandpa, the one in Colombia. Correct. So this is a very traditional painting that he has. All of his characters in his artwork have big eyes. And this has a very cool story behind it. One time, he said a leprechaun appeared in front of him and told him to paint him and he would be famous. So that's a what, leprechaun? A leprechaun. So that's what he did and after that he became famous. I'm curious though, why put this painting up in Baraco? I mean, it's inspirational. Two years ago I finally went back to uh, finally meet this great person that I've always been told about. So you had never and met him I had before. never met him before. I mean, it was just a very great inspiration for me and to start the restaurant. And also because a lot of the artwork that I've done myself, it's because I got it from him. Your grandfather was a well-known artist in Colombia, and now you've come and you've been inspired by him and brought your art here to Lakewood. Yeah, in fact, if you want, I can go over and show you one of the murals I painted to pay tribute to him. Oh, another mural. Correct. Okay, you lead the way, buddy. Okay, Lauren, so here we are. This is the mural I was talking to you about. So this is the 
big woman? This baby? is baby Jesus. Wait a minute, time. So this is, you this said baby, baby Jesus. Jesus? This is baby Jesus. El Divino Niño de Jesus is what we call it. And this is one of the patrons in, in Colombia. The reason he looks like this, it's because my grandpa has a huge painting that it's baby Jesus and it's just like that. So the painting is not done. I mean, as you can see, people started signing all over it. And so I was just like, oh, you know what? That's fine, too. <laughs> yeah. So people literally will just sign on whatever free space there is. It doesn't fail. They always ask, can I sign on this? Can I sign on that? <laughs> so are, when you run out of space, are they going to start signing on you? Probably on the yeah. tables. Not on me yet. <laughs> not just, on you. Not just on me yet. So what is this? Is this a halo? Is this a glow around baby Jesus. The colors you see around here uh, represent all of our five sauces that we make here in the house, which is kind of like the favorite part about the Barocco experience here. So this represents the sauces. It would be baby Jesus blessing baby us Baby Jesus his... blessing the sauces. Now you got me thinking about food, and we do this thing where we give you the next 30 seconds to pick your favorite dish on the menu. Are you up for the challenge? Sure can. I thought you'd never ask. Let's go head over to the kitchen and I'll get something cooking for you. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and add some green and red peppers. Okay, Lauren, so here are your chicken tostones. Yum. And these are the sauces I told you about. Do I eat with my hands? Do I pick up a fork and eat it? How do I do this? Use your hands. All right, I'm going all in. Wow. Man, that is very good. The taste of the fried plantains and the gooey, like nice cheesy smoothness of the chicken and the cheese. So this is the favorite dish. It is one of the favorite dishes, yes. So you know what I have to do now. You have to sign the wall. Got it. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having me. Thank you, Lauren. I've left my mark on the wall. You sure did. I'm good to go. Okay, we'll thanks see you so next on. time. See ya. All right.